Good morning everybody, it's Lisa here today to share the January 2022 release with you. Now this is quite a big release from Picket Fence Studios and I'm going to do what I normally do every month. I'm going to walk you through all the new items, share my cards and also share some from the team. So this, um, as I mentioned before, is quite a big release so I'm going to jump straight in and get started. So we've got lots of different themes going on this month. There's something for book lovers. We've got an addition to the Horoscope Girls range. We've got some fantastic new shaker products, some butterfly themed products, one of which I've got sitting here. There's also some lovely um, heart themed products for Valentine's Day. So lots to tempt you with this month. I'm gonna start off with this die set. This is Butterfly Beauties and it does come with a coordinating die set as well. So you can see here you've got the outline images and then you've got a solid background for each one of the individual butterflies. I think this is such a pretty set. It's only two layers so it's a basic stamp layering set. And I thought I would show you a couple of other products that I think it goes quite well with. The first of which is this set here. This is called Leaves in a Stream and I do have a sample from the team coming up where this has been used with those butterflies. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the seamless stamps, four by four um, in size and I've talked about these many times. You can repeat stamp these, the edges match up and you can create any size background that you want, whether you want an A2 slimline, mini slimline, a square card, you really have a lot of different options with these seamless stamps. So that's, that is leaves in a stream. And then I thought the butterflies would also pair really well with the Lily's picture frame, which does have a coordinating die. You can see that here on the right. Just to give you an idea of size, that is the seamless stamp there, which is a 4x4. Four four. So this is a smaller size stamp, but perfect, of course, for A2 cards. And in this Lily's picture frame die set, you do also get five circle dies they have stitching detail on them so you could use those on any card not just in um, conjunction with the Lily's picture frame itself they will of course work um, as a separate little nesting uh, die set as well so this is the card that I made with the Butterfly Beauty set. I just took two of the images, the outline image of those two butterflies. I didn't use the layering aspect on my card. And I heat emboss these with a clear embossing powder. So there is some shine to them. I did a brusho background with just one colour of brusho and I added some jewels from day and night gem mix just to accentuate the butterflies and this sentiment here is from Do Good Recklessly which I use pretty much in every <laughs> release. I love that set. So that is my card uh, with the Butterfly Beauties. Time to share some cards from the team. Now this first one here is from Daniel. Daniel has used the Leaves in a Stream seamless stamp to create his background. I think you can really see the detail of the stamp here. It's been heat embossed and he's done an embossed resist technique with ink blending as well. And that little girl, she's coming up in a stamp set later on. This lovely card here is from Sandy. Sandy created a slimline card. She used the Leaves in a Stream seamless stamp to create her background. And she's also used several of the butterflies from Butterfly Beauties. And she has created a cascade in a rainbow theme. It's such a pretty card. This gorgeous shaker card has been created by Daniel. Daniel uses the Lily's picture frame stamp and its coordinating die to create the frame around the shaker element. And the heart stencil that you can see in the background is one that I'm going to be showing you a little bit later on and it's called Spiral of Hearts. 
Following on with the butterfly theme, I've got this new die here called the Big Beautiful Butterfly Die. So this is the card that I made with that. It's quite an intricate die. I've got some other dies that are new this month. I'm going to show you in a second. I think work really well with the stamp set that I showed you just a moment ago. But with this die, I created this card here. So I just created a stripy background because I like the look of white over a bright background. I added a sentiment in the middle and I added some iridescent moonshine sequins around uh, the, the butterfly itself. So that's how it looks on an A2 card. So that gives you a really good idea of the size. Now this card here from Karen features the big beautiful bumblebee die and I didn't have it to share with you today, mine hadn't arrived but I did want to show you a couple of the cards using it and Karen has gone for a gorgeous uh, mixed media look on her card and she has die cut that bee in gold, I think it's stunning. This absolute beauty is from Sarah. Sarah has also created her bumblebee in gold and she has also used a hexagon background, but hers is really, really subtle and I love the way these two cards look. Both of the girls have used the same products but in completely different ways and I think they are both gorgeous. And here are the other dies that I mentioned. So this one here is the A2 Lattice Arch Cover Plate die. Again, these are, oh, I've got three of these to show you. Very intricate dies, really, really pretty, quite lacy looking when you die cut them. And they look, this one particularly looks fantastic if you use the butterflies as well, as does the oval um, die as well which is coming up in a moment so that is the uh, arch cover plate die and it has the circle as well there if you want to incorporate that as part of the design on your card this one here is the oval and trimmings die so you get the oval die along with two of these edge dies as well absolutely beautiful the same the same design as the, the arch, when you look at the actual cuts that the die will make, they're very similar, but of course the, the shape is different. So really, really pretty. And of course I do have some samples of these coming up. And this one here is the ornate negative strip die. So again, you've just got another longer border edge die here, again with the pretty lacy pattern. I've got lots of examples to share now from the team. This first one here is from Amanda. She has used the A2 Lattice Arch Cover Plate die and she has created this most beautiful and cute little scene using previously released products as well. And those sequins that she's used, they're coming up a little bit later on. This absolutely gorgeous and oh so pretty card is from Julia and Julia has also used the arch cover plate die. She has also used the circular die that I showed you that comes as part of the set and she has used those uh, circles as a backdrop to two of the butterflies from Butterfly Beauties. This super pretty card here from Karen uses the A2 Lattice Oval and Trimmings die. So you can see how beautifully that positions on an A2 card. Such a gorgeous die, very, very pretty. Karen has paired it with a stencil that's coming up shortly. This card here from Sarah features one of the border dies from the oval and trimmings die set. So Sarah has actually extended that to create a lace border all along her panel. And she has also used that stencil that is coming up a little bit later on. Another example using the oval and trimmings dies comes from Sandy. 
Sandy has used it to frame her two girls that are coming up a little bit later on in the video. She has also used that same stencil for her pretty pink background and I'm going to be coming to that soon. My final example of cards using these lovely dies is this one here from Julia. Julia uses the ornate negative strip die and she has die cut those back to back to create that lovely lacy background and she paired that with four of the butterflies from Butterfly Beauties. Next up I've got two 6x6 six six stencils to share with you. Both of these um, are love related, love themed, so they both have hearts. You've got this one here which is called the Spiral of Hearts. Um, absolutely beautiful pattern. You've got the positive heart as well there if you want to use that um, on its own to create a mask. And this one here is called Rainbow of Hearts. So again, you've got the same heart pattern, but you've just got um, a semicircle of hearts there. And this is the card that I made. So I went for a tone on tone look and I used the True Christmas Red Paper Glitz on some red card stock. So I'm going to tilt that into the light here. It's pretty grey here today in the UK, so the light isn't brilliant, but I think you can see the shimmer that you get and the sparkle from the paper glitz. And the great thing about paper glitz is it doesn't leave any glitter at all on your fingers when it dries. So you get wonderful texture on your card panel, but without any of the mess. So I paired it with a sentiment from I'll Always Pick You, which came out last year. Uh, because it is a relatively simple card, I thought that the sentiment would have big impact. So that was stamped in black and heat embossed with clear embossing powder. And this frame here, this thin circle frame, actually comes from one of the slimline die cutting system sets, the scallop frames die. The circle dies in that set actually cut a thin frame and I thought that that would make a really good highlight around the sentiment. I've got a couple of examples for you now using the Rainbow of Hearts A2 stencil. This beautiful rainbow gorgeousness is from Erica and she pairs her rainbow stenciling with the crystalline diamonds that were released last month and she uses a sentiment from a set that's coming up later on. The second example using the Rainbow of Hearts A2 stencil is from Rachelle. Rachelle has actually used it on a mini slimline card and she has used the Slimline Die Cutting System Mini Slimline Stitched and Scalloped Rectangles die set to create this beautiful shaker card. I love the addition of the little people jumping around for joy. Continuing on with the love and hearts theme is this stencil here. This is the Slimline Rainbow of Hearts stencil, similar to the A2 Rainbow of Hearts, but just suitable for a slimline card. So I have made a card with this stencil and I paired it with this set here. This is called Some Bunny Loves You. So it does come with a coordinating die set as well. But you've basically got the combined image here of two bears with a teddy bear on top and a bunny sitting on the teddy bear's head. You've got the separate teddy bear in the corner, the two individual bears there and an individual bunny. So hip hip hooray, today is your special day. We are so very proud of you. Some bunny loves you, of course, at the top there. So this is the card that I made. I used some paper glaze combined with paper glaze enhancer for my background. I used three different colours. I've used three of the images from Some Bunny Loves You, which are just adhered to the front there. And inside, for the shaker portion, I've used two different sequin mixes and also some shaker garnish, which I'm going to show you now. 
So this is new this month. This is called Shaker Garnish. There are 10 different colours and I'm going to show you those in a moment. But I used two of them in my card today. So I've used the Iridescent Clear and the Spring Green Garnish. Now these are just, um, they've been created I guess to uh, bump up the shaker element inside of your cards. So you use them in conjunction with sequins. You could also use them on their own as well. So they come in quite large pots and as I say there are 10 different colours and uh, they make a lovely noise of course as shakers always do when you combine them with the sequins. And for my full shaker um, acetate panel I did use the die set that I showed you last month. So this is the slimline full front shaker die. Um, which cuts out the, the, the kind of full acetate piece that you need to make your slimline shaker card. So that is that card there. As I mentioned a little bit before, we're going to take a closer look now at the shaker garnish. This is Christmas green. This one here is Christmas red. My absolute favourite here is iridescent clear. And I've now got three metallics to show you. This one is metallic black. This gorgeous mix here is metallic gold. And you have also got a metallic silver pot as well. And finally, four spring colours. This one is spring green, followed by spring pink. And of course, you have got Spring Purple, another one of my favourites. And finally, you have got Spring Yellow. Continuing on with the Slimline products, this is the Woods Cover Plate die. So this is a full Slimline size cover plate and it cuts the wood background, the wood trees background, really really pretty die and you've got all these additional dies as well to help you create your scene. So you've got little people included, you've got some deer, um, a rabbit, you've got some birds and you can see there's also dies included here as well. So fantastic for scene building, particularly for forest scene building. Here we have a slimline card from Daniel using that gorgeous cover plate die. Daniel has created this lovely little scene using the dies also included in that set. So he's got a couple of the people, a couple of the deer and some of the other animals as well. I think this is absolutely delightful. It's such a sweet little scene. There are two new slimline word topper dies this month. This one here is called Feel Better Soon. So this is similar to the A2 size word toppers that have been released over the past year. So you've got a similar font there, the really tall thin letters, but obviously this is suitable for a, it covers the span of a slimline card. I mean, you can still use the A2 ones on a slimline as well, if you don't want this banner going right across. But so that is the first one here. That is the feel better soon die. This absolutely stunning card from Amanda, a slimline card, uses that feel better soon word topper die. And Amanda has combined it with the ornate negative strip die and also some of the butterflies from Butterfly Beauties. I think this is so pretty. I love the combination of the navy and the white and the little pops of colour. This one here is called Hugs From Afar. So again, it's a slimline die, but the, the Hugs From Afar has actually been set to one side. So that gives you another option for where you position your sentiment on a card. So you could use this, of course, on a vertical slimline or, of course, on a horizontal slimline card. This first card example here from Sarah shows how you can use that die actually on an A2 card. So she has used it in a vertical 
format and I think it really shows the versatility of these dies and how you can use them on different sizes and Sarah has paired hers with the butterfly beauties. This next card here from Amanda shows how you can use that die on a mini slimline card. So I think it really highlights how versatile they are. And Amanda uh, created a beautiful shaker card using some of the shaker garnish that I showed you a few moments ago. Next up is this stamp set here. This is called BFF Girls Find Your Tries. So in addition to the BFF range, you've got these four sassy girls here, along with some brilliant sentiments. Find your tribe, love them hard. Girlfriends are like diamonds, you can never have too many. And they are slightly smaller than the original BFF images, but I have made a card with them, so you'll be able to see how they look on an A2 card and of course they do have a coordinating die set as well. And here is the card that I made with two of the girls from the set. So you can see how they look on an A2 card. So they would also work in its horizontal format and of course they would work on a mini slimline or a slimline card as well. So really good size. I love the BFF girls range. I used one of the sentiments from the set on my card and my background was created with a stencil that's coming up in a moment. This is a six by six stencil and it's called Flowers and Polka Dot Fun. And this is what I used on this background here. So I use, I ink blended three colors down a white panel, laid the stencil over the top, and then I just inked through with the same colors and used that as my backdrop for the two girls. And it does also come in a slimline format as well. So the Flowers and leaves and polka dots are bigger um, in this, but the design is the same. So you have a slimline version as well. And here's a card example from Michelle. This is such a pretty card. I just love the colours that Michelle has used. And she used the slimline version of that stencil at the bottom of her card. And she paired it with the Lily's picture frame stamp and die. I mentioned at the start that there were a couple of new items for the book lovers out there. This set here is called Books Are Friends and you can use it either on its own or in conjunction with this set here which is called More Books Are Friends which also comes with a coordinating die. So I don't actually have a card with either of these sets of my own but I am going to show you a couple from the team. They pair beautifully together and I just ran out of time. I am a book lover and I know lots of people that love reading so I'm sure I'm going to get to this set soon but you've got the lovely little scene there of the sofa rug cat and you can accentuate it with the pictures. Um, you've got some furniture there and of course you could use this as the backdrop um, for your scene. So you could have a wall, wall of books or use it as like a wallpaper. So that is a really uh, fun couple of products. I hope I get to ink those up soon. I've got a couple of cards to share with you now using both of these sets. This first one here from Julia is such a clever design. She has created a scene as if you're looking from outside to inside. She's used the backdrop of the books and she's used the cosy sofa and table to complete the scene, all framed with a gorgeous brick surround. This second card here is from Rachel. Rachel has used just one of the sets. She's used the More Books Are Friends set and she's created this clean and simple, perfect scene with the sofa as the focal point. But I love that strip that she's done at the background using a stencil from a previous release. 
Next up, we have got the new addition to the Horoscope Girls range. This is Aries Girls, so if you've been waiting for Aries, this is the month for you. So as with all the other Horoscope Girls, you do get a coordinating die as well, and there is a separate word die for Aries. And that doesn't actually coordinate with the Aries in the stamp, it is a standalone version of the word. So that is Aries Girl. So here she is, Erica has brought Aries Girl to life on this fantastic card. I just love the way she has Copic coloured her and I think she really pops against that background which I think is probably created with paper glaze. And Erica has also used one of the word topper dies from a previous release. And here is another card featuring Aries Girl. This one here from Michelle puts Aries Girl against a backdrop of alcohol inks. And I think the colours that she's used for her background are so striking. I don't think I've ever used a black alcohol ink, but it looks brilliant with the red. And I think that Aries Girl complements the colours perfectly. So this is my final stamp set to share with you today, but stick with me. I do have a couple of other items that I want to show you at the end. There's eight different sentiments here in this set. It's called Advice Mamas Should Give, and I did use one of them on a card. I created a rainbow themed card and I went with the Tree of Hearts stencil, which actually came out last year. So I ink blended my background and I dry embossed the stencil as well. So this has some really nice texture on it, this card. And this is the sentiment from the set and it says, don't ever make change from your own dollar, you are worth it all. So I think that's a great sentiment, but I encourage you to go and check out that set on the website. There's some great sentiments in there. There are some swear words, so I'm not gonna read them out on camera. I don't want to offend anyone, but they are quirky and they're fun. Uh, not all explanations make sense. Some are just excuses. For dumb choices is definitely one that made me smile. So just going to finish up with the last few items now. For all you sequin lovers out there and shaker card makers, there are five new mixes this month. I'm going to show the close-ups in a moment so that you can see them in a little bit more detail. My personal favourite is this one here, which has the little carrots in it, but those are coming up now. This sequin mix here is called Grand Fir Trees. You've got four different colours, green, gold, silver and red trees. This next mix is a sequin mix plus called Carrot Patch. I just love those cute little carrots mixed in with the other green sequins and clays. Next up is Jingle Bells Rock. This is another sequin mix plus. You've got these gorgeous little cute stripy stockings in there. This one is called Milk and Cookies. Again, it's sequin mix plus. You've got the clay cookies included. And the final one is Yellow and Orange Hearts and Flowers. And that is also a sequin mix plus. This unbelievably cute card is from Michelle. She created a shaker card with the Sun Bunny Loves You stamp set and she combined it with the Carrot Patch Sequin Mix Plus Mix. Absolutely adorable. My final card to share with you today comes from Rachelle. Rachelle has also combined a sequin mix with Some Bunny Loves You. She has used the yellow and orange hearts and flowers mix to add little flowers amongst her grass. I think that is just such a cute way of using the sequins. Last but not least is this um, set of 6x6 six six stamp and stencil pouches. So we already have slimline pouches available on the website. They've been out for two or three months now, but you now have options for your larger stamp sets and your 6x6 six six stencils. So you get 10 in a pack. They're actually slightly larger than 6x6. Six 
Um, so they will hold definitely more than one stencil. And I'm going to give you a close up here. Okay, so this is how they look. You, they're really, really thick plastic, so very robust, very durable. And you have this flap here, which of course you can push into one of the slots on the back there. It's difficult to see those slots on camera. If I turn it slightly before the light hits it, you might see them, but you can tuck that flap away. So that makes sure that everything stays safely inside. So a fantastic new addition to the pouches. That brings me to the end of this month's release. Thank you so much for being with me today. I do hope that you've enjoyed the walkthrough of all the new items. It is a big release, but I hope that we have inspired you with our cards. Uh, don't forget that you can enter the giveaway by leaving a comment in the comments below that will give you a chance to win a gift card to the shop. So I will be back with the February release next month. Thank you again for being with me. I hope that you have a great day. Bye for now.